V run, it's got nothing on it. And if I go to the other side, you got the 12, the 12. Should all be there. What is that one? Black. You got the five. The five is the brown wire. So I'm going to go over here and connect. There's the five. Of course, the three is what I'm pulling up. Now, what's interesting here, I'm going to go through and purposely pull this out. And go measure these pins. I don't think it recovers back. And I'm not sure if that has to be pulled high or something. But once I've gone through and pulled that pin high to shut this off, you might be have to pull another pin back up to shut it on. But I've been able to repeat this several times. So right now I've got this off. So I turn this off by pulling this pin high through a resistor. So kind of interesting. On this board, if I go ahead and plug this connector into my uh, iMac over here, it completely shuts the entire supply down, which means that we believe that there's a short in the logic board. But all this pin out appears to work. Now if I go back here and try to connect the 5 to the backlight, the backlight still works. So even though I've turned all these run connectors off, I've got the black backlight here still running by taking what they call 3 volt all here and tying it to the LCD PWM, which is probably full brightness. So my theory, this is probably modulated to vary the brightness on here is what I think happens uh, just by doing some primitive research. And if I go through here and playing around, it's still not high. Now I'm going to just go be daring and go ahead and connect and see if I can pow power good high. And I'm also going to go through and try to pull this high to see what happens. None of this I do goes through and takes and turns the 12 volts back on again. So I'm still kind of playing to see how this works or if my supply is even bad. But anybody can get, help me out to figure out what... Uh, of course, this turns on the backlight. And I'm not sure if this power good here works the same as a PC. Let me get a better picture of that. So you got the power supply over here, 110 volts or 220, puts out 12 volts in ground. This is the LCV inverter at the top, and these are the output voltages. Now obviously on here, because I can't turn the drive back on again, there must be a power sequence to turn this on that I'm not aware of. I tried pulling this high through a resistor. If I pulled the uh, backlight high, it turns the backlight on. Try to pull this high, it doesn't do anything. Now I'm going to go through and see if when I do that if it actually helps anything. I'm going to connect a ground
and see when I pull this high it's pulling at the logic high might be tearing it up that's the pin that I pulled high system power buffered to turn off the run this is the power good now after I've done all this if I unplug all this and unplug the supply and wait a little while I can go ahead and plug it back in and all these voltages are present. I've done this about 10 times. So my question is I'm probably going to end up trying to see get another inverter board to see if that's actually the way this is supposed to work uh, just to play around. If I go ahead and have all the voltages there and plug this guy in it just cuts off. Anyways this is an iMac early 2006 uh, that's dead that I've been playing around with and been investigating how the power supply works over here and the inverter board and what the voltages are and this is what I found on the 14 pin connector some other people on the web have li listed some of these uh, names over here and I've confirmed that at least on here these are always on when the supply is working and you can turn the run ones off by going through and pulling that high and then the LCD PWM is the backlight and no matter what I've done I've never been able to get the power good command that pin to ever read anything high I'm going to attempt to plug this in again. This drive here, this whole unit that I've had, there was, it was go ahead and it would tend to uh, shut off randomly. It shut off uh, if you turn the brightness really high, it tended to shut off, and it also tended to shut off if you went and had to do some type of uh, video. Uh, crunching where you're trying to convert a video over so you're really using the CPU a hundred percent after about maybe 10 minutes boom it would go through and shut off so I put some system uh, monitoring things on there to go through to see when the CPU was overheating and it only got up to about 48 before it conked out there was not anything way in the super hot but uh, the second time it was dying, it was just using, turning the brightness up, but it ended up croaking.